Hi, I'm Jen. I'm an Ashtanga yoga teacher, and in this video, I'm going to show you the beginning steps to learning how to drop back into a back bend from standing. You want to stand with the short edge of your mat against the wall. Start by standing about one arm's distance away from the wall. Now, this is probably going to feel a little bit scary at first, but know that the wall is right here for you. You're gonna stand with your back to the wall. Take your feet about hip distance apart and really root the feet down into the earth. So sometimes I imagine roots literally growing from my feet and down into the mat. From here, stand up tall, pull the low belly in and start to lift your chest up to your chin. So look at your nose and lift the chest up to the chin. Keep lifting the chest up to the chin. Keep lifting the chest up to the chin. All right, we're gonna to start to go backwards from here. So I'm gonna show you the beginner's version first. So once you're standing up really tall and you're looking down at your nose and you're lifting your chest to your chin, you're gonna to start to walk your hands down your legs. Let your hips go forward slightly and try to get your chest to start facing the ceiling. And then once you can see the ceiling, you can let your head go and see the wall. And from here, reach your arms out to the sides, touch the wall, and then stand back up. So it's a little bit scary when you take your hands off of your legs and onto the wall. Look for the wall first and then make your reach. That's step one. Once you get the hang of that, you're going to root the legs again, reach the arms up high, lift the chest up to the ceiling, look at your nose, keep reach up so high, like you're trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips, and then start to pull the arms back and as you pull your arms back, you feel your chest project forward. You're going to start to reach your arms back and try to touch the wall. Legs are rooted, tone the belly, lift the chest, reach the arms and reach them up high. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pull the arms back. Slowly look over your head, tap the hands to the wall and come back up. So you wanna be really light with your fingertips on the wall. We're gonna do it again. Same thing, but we're gonna to try to go a little bit deeper and get the hands down a little bit lower on the wall. Big reach up, look down the nose, pull the arms back, like the arms are levers and they're pushing your chest up high. Look at your nose, look at your nose, and then slowly look over the head Start to reach the arms down the wall and lightly come up. And you just keep doing that, gradually making your way lower and lower down the wall. I'm going to show you one more time. Big reach up, pull, chest projects, keep pulling with the arms. Look where you're going. Lift the chest, strong legs lightly land on the wall and then come up. And a lot of that movement and coming up, it's a little bit of a push with the fingertips, but I'm thinking about my body as a chain and I'm pushing my pelvis forward and that action pulls my spine up. So you don't want to use your arms too much. Most of the work stays in the legs. So the foundation is really important here. Learning how to drop back fully, it's a journey. Expect it to take some time, but by working the wall little by little, you can gradually start to make your way down to the floor. Control the movement as much as you can, fight gravity, and eventually, if you stay in control of that movement, you'll be able to control it all the way down and all the way back up, but it takes practice.